Hello everybody! In today's video, you will see what to do if you try to run a game from Steam and encounter an error VAC was unable to verify your game session. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Valve checks all the products it offers for presence of third-party software. Recently, many users encountered an error VAC was unable to verify our game session while trying to start a popular game, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. When VAC runs this check, it looks for any files uploaded by the game that lack digital signature and blocks them. In normal and healthy accounts, this error may appear as a result of wrong system settings. Most likely, the application either can't access the required files and libraries, or the internet connection was reset or blocked by the system. Now, let us analyze possible causes of this error and how it could be fixed. First of all, sign out from your Steam account, restart the computer, sign in to your account again, and start the game. If this doesn't help, sign out from Steam, start the application again, but this time as administrator. Right-click on the application shortcut and select Run as administrator. Start Counter-Strike. If these simple methods don't work, and you still see the same error, let's move on to more complicated things. Close Counter-Strike, but leave the Steam window open. Open the Services window to check if Steam client service is running. If it isn't, start it or reboot the computer. In fact, it should start automatically when you launch the client. Restart the computer, launch Steam as administrator and check if the game runs properly. If the service was unable to start, this step should help you. In most cases, such solutions will solve the problem at once. Finally, if this method fails, try cleaning the program's cache. Open Steam, go to Settings, Downloads and click Clear Download Cache. Remember that you will have to sign in again after this step. If the error still persists, check the files for integrity. Right-click on the game – Properties, jump to the tab Local files and click Verify integrity of game files. After that, try launching the game. One more thing to cause the trouble could be your antivirus or firewall. Try disabling them for a while and running the game while they are paused. If this trick helps you, add the Steam folder to the exclusions list of your antivirus. Also, here is a command that could be useful in dealing with the problem. Open the Run window by pressing the key shortcut Windows plus R and type the following command. Here, we show the default path to the application, so if the path is different in your case, you should use what your computer shows, not the default line as that we showed as an example. One more thing to cause the problem could be that DEP is disabled and naturally VEC can't identify it. Try the following method. Open the command prompt as administrator and run the following command. After that, restart the computer and check if you can start the game properly. 
If your PC has several user accounts, make sure that you signed in as administrator. The error may have been caused by using an ordinary account instead, as common users, who are not administrators, may have insufficient rights. Also, you can try to check the network settings and try restarting the router. And that is all for now. Hopefully, this video tutorial helped you to fix the problem. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!